children, contaminated by their own families, their friends, even their everyday surroundings, or so their brains tell them. What's going through your head? I'm dirty. It's OCD, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. I became suicidal because I couldn't touch anything. And when you can't really touch anything, you can't do anything. Our year-long journey into the medical mystery that's taken a million kids from happy, normal childhoods to paralyzing secrets and fears. An unprecedented look into the breakthrough science, therapy rooms, and parents who never give up. Touch your pants, your arms, your face. Can it all work together to finally set them free? It's flying into the darkness. Family Secrets, a primetime limited series. Reporting tonight, David Muir. And we wondered, what's really going on here? So for folks who might say, oh, it's just in a child's head, you have found that it literally is. The breakthrough science that just might help set these children free. When we come back, how often do you do this? Check the locks, check the stove more than once. And what these brand new brain scans reveal to anyone who ever thought they might have OCD. Next. OCD win. Dr. David Rosenberg is convinced Bridget and other children like her can conquer it. His team at the Children's Hospital of Michigan is on the front lines in this fight against OCD. In a groundbreaking study, they're now looking closely at the MRIs of children who have OCD. They can actually see it. The brain's anatomy, its makeup, the child's genetics can actually reveal the disorder. It's chemical, it's physiological. And we can see it on an MRI. The doctors here say they've made a major discovery. They know the brain chemical glutamate is critically involved in OCD. It acts as the brain's light switch. And there's either too much of it or too little of it in children who have the disease which means the light switch is broken, and in turn, the part of the brain that gives most of us the all clear when we're worried never gets that message. They never get the all clear signal. They have to worry obsessively over and over again because the brain's arousal center is just giving it the message that you have to keep checking over and over. Many of us check the doors when we leave the house or the stove, sometimes two or three times, constantly asking ourselves questions about it much like Rocco did with his mother. I don't remember, get the phone. No, Eventually, though, remember. our brains give us the message that it's okay to move on. With children who have OCD, it's different. Instead of saying, relax, it's saying, worry more, alarm, danger. And for you and me, we might get an alarm, but then once we check it, the alarm goes away. Exactly right. It tells us, hey, there's nothing to worry about. That never happens in a child with obsessive compulsive disorder. And once doctors can pinpoint what's going on, the medication can help reset that chemical imbalance. Antidepression or anti-anxiety medication is most often used, depending on the child. That's significant. It's huge. Huge because the doctor says, without knowing any of this, it typically takes seven to eight years for parents to find the right kind of help for their children. Many parents don't know what their child is suffering from. And now they say this combination of the right medicine and that exposure therapy we've now been witnessing for months can help children keep their worries at bay. 